so here we have nested radicals and we have to find the value of x now when a is under square root it is equal to a raised to the power 1 upon 2 and when we have to remove the square root we square it we square both the sides then this square root gets removed with this square so using these two property we can solve it by two methods let's see the method one now let's first check this x this x is under one square root so we will write here x to the power 1 upon 2 instead of the square root then times this x is under 2 square root so it is times x to the power 1 upon 2 then whole to the power 1 upon 2 or simply we can write x to the power 1 upon 4 now this third x is under this square root this one and this one so three square roots so it will be x to the power 1 upon 8 then times this x is under 4 square roots so this will be x to the power 1 upon 16 1 upon 2 times 1 upon 2 times 1 upon 2 times 1 upon 2 so this is 1 upon 16 then times x to the power 1 upon 32. This x is under 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 square roots. A is equal to 5. Now there is an identity if a raised to the power m times a raised to the power n, then this is equal to a raised to the power m plus n. So using this property, we can write here x to the power 1 upon 2 plus 1 upon 4 plus 1 upon 8 plus 1 upon 16 plus 1 upon 32 is equal to 5 now let's add the fraction to add the fractions we take the lcd of the denominators using the division method we start dividing it by 2 2 times 1 is 2 2 times 2 is 4 2 times 4 is 8 2 times 8 is 16 2 times 16 is 32 again divide it by 2 write 1 as 1 then 2 times 1 is 2 2 times 2 is 4 2 times 4 is 8 and 2 times 8 is 16 Again divide it by 2, write 1 as 1. Again 2 numbers divisible by 2. So we keep on dividing until we get 1 or a prime number. 2 times 1 is 2 and 2 times 2 is 4. Now 2 is a prime number, we can leave it here. So LCD will be 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is equal to 32. So write 32 as the common denominator. Divide 32 by 2, 16 plus 8 divide 32 by 4 it is 8 and 8 times 1 is 8 4 plus 2 plus 1 now add it is equal to 31 upon 32 so we can write x to the power 31 upon 32 is equal to 5 now let's raise both the sides to the power of 32 so this will be 5 to the power 32 here 32 gets cancelled with 32 so x to the power 31 is equal to 5 to the power 32 if we take the 31st root to both the side we can cancel this 31 exponent with this 31th root so x is equal to 31st root of 5 to the power 32 so this is the value of x so this is method one in method two we can square both the sides for each of the square root so when we first square it we can remove this square with the square root so it will be x is equal to 5 to the power 2 again square it we keep on doing it until all the square roots are removed and then we add the exponent which method did you use let me know in the comment section